All right, welcome Touchboard Nation. This is Wes Martin at Clear Touch Interactive, Vice President of Sales. I am excited to show you some really cool stuff that we've been waiting on for a while. This is our new 7000X series. It's available in a couple of different sizes. It's the 55 and the 65 with some new ones coming down the road. Some really, really neat things I want to share with you. Some things that we've improved upon that we've been hearing about lately with our infrared products and others. So this product right here is a PCAP product. It's capacitive. What does that mean for you? It's very similar to the way your phone is. It's got that edge-to-edge -edge glass. There's no bezel. This thing is going to be perfect for you to use as a table. It also is great for your huddle space and your collaborative environments, and it uses some of the same accessories that we already know and like with the ClearTouch products, such as our PCs, our Wi-Fi modules, document cameras, keyboard and mouse, as well as our webcams. So lots of really neat things you can use there. You can mount this on the wall. You can also put it on an adjustable mount, or you can also mount this as a table, like I mentioned before. It's perfect for that. So some things we need to talk about with this glass and this product itself, some improvements that we made, some of the things that make me really excited about it. So I want you to take a look over here. So what you're going to notice is that there's no buttons on the front. You see that? Some of our old products had some of the buttons as well as the USB ports on the front. And those are great for presentation. They're terrible as a table. Right? So with that, we took away those buttons on the front. And I know what you're thinking from a corporate perspective, man, that looks good too. Right? This gives a nice sleek look there, very uniform, same amount of bezel on each side as well. It's going to look really good there with your cabinet or however you want to display that. The other thing that we also did on this too is that, I'm going to grab one of these pins here so you can see this. Look at that pin holder right here on the side, it's really convenient. So what we did here is that we've got two separate pins and what you'll notice is that we can write in two separate colors at the same time. We could already have done that with software before but now we have a way to do that where it will recognize the actual pins. So we'll do some of that here in a bit. The other thing that you can do too is that you can have pressure sensitivity. So I know what you're thinking as well. Some of you use these CAD types of programs or you use Adobe Photoshop or you use other programs that need that pressure sensitivity. This guy's got it. So some really neat things you're going to be able to do there with that. All right. So I know what you're thinking. Along with all of these great hardware changes we made, what did you do with software? Did you put something new on us out here? Or are we going to be doing some of the same things? It's actually a little bit of both. The nice thing is that you've got a familiar look here if you're already accustomed to the clear touch look and feel where you've got things like your Canvas software ready to go. You've got things like your clear touch store. And we also come standard with our collage software ready to go so that you can connect whatever devices you already have, whether that's your iPads, whether that's your Android devices, your Chrome devices, your PC, or your Mac. You may not have realized this too. You can also take this panel and others with our collage and be able to connect that PC and that Mac with touch. That's pretty neat, right? So I'll show you how to do some of those here in a bit as well. With this as well, you can also load additional applications on here. So those applications that you're already familiar with and you already use in your workflow, you can bring those straight in here. So if you're an IT professional and you manage a lot of these, you're really going to like this one too. This panel, just like all of our others, can also be managed from our command software. So you can actually see and manage all of those products from your central console and be able to control things like when do they start? When do they shut down? How do I troubleshoot that remotely? Can I send messaging to those? All these great features that you've already been asking for, we've got them right here ready to go on this 7000 series as well as our new 6000 series. All right, so let's take a look at how this works. From the Android side here, all I have to do is go and just swipe up. This should be familiar to most of our ClearTouch users where I've got this nice menu straight from the bottom where I can go and I can go to a different source such as our PC or I can go over to one of your sources, something like a PC or a Mac or maybe even a Chromebook that you've connected. The other thing that's nice here too is that we have these side menus. So with these tools on the screen, you've got some things that you can do on any source such as write on any source. So if I wanted to circle things, very easy to do that. I can also go in and I can highlight certain things as well. 
If I wanted to actually save that, I can do that and save it locally, or I can also save that to the cloud or even make a QR code so that you can download that for any participant that was in the room. So some incredible things, makes it very easy to use right away. Whether that was in education or corporate, I see you being able to use this fairly easily right out of the box. Each of the 7000 series panels comes standard with our Snowflake software. You're going to love this part. So with this, I can go in and not only do I get all the great apps that we already had with some of the other panels, now we've got some incredible ways to use this with those zones as a table. So the nice thing with the PCAP product is that it's going to help block out some of those things that you don't want to be touching there, right? It can sense whether that was my palm. It can sense whether that was my jacket touching this. It can sense whether or not that was jewelry or some other inanimate object like a book or paper or other things that I didn't want to register as a touch point. You know, this is our fifth year as ClearTouch presenting a product that can be used as a table in the marketplace and we've improved that year over year things like additional points of touch being able to go in and do all the different zones and being able to flip some of those zones and being able to have more and more lessons and things out there now with the lessons online community having over a hundred thousand lessons now we've taken that to the next level with the PCAP and we sort of married up what the hardware is doing so that it matches what we were already doing with the software and we're able to go in now and really give you a new, a new neat experience you know what's nice touchboard nation I've been showing this for the last couple of months and you would think that some of these people had seen it for the first time so hopefully you like what we're going to show you I'm going to take this to tabletop mode so what we're going to do here is we're going to lower this into a table and what you notice is that it's already in a drafting position so you can use this as a whiteboard a drafting position or also as a table so some really good use for it so just setting this back into a table now and we'll also start lowering this to a height that's appropriate for you So what you're noticing is that as a table, this can be used as a center in your classroom, or if you're at the office, this could be used in your war room or any place that you need to collaborate and have lots of people come around each side. So come on and check it out. All right, now that we have this in our tabletop mode, there's some really neat things that we can do. First off, I wanted to make sure that you're familiar with Snowflake and what this program can do and what the software does. This is really designed with a natural user interface and so it really kind of flows very much like your phone or your tablet does. And You notice how we had all those different apps and things that we can use on the screen and so some of the first ones that I like to use in here are things like Canvas. So this software gives us our whiteboarding software and it's ready to use and it's ready to go right away where I can have lots of things written on the screen. I can bring in things like my websites and have those directly there on the screen. In fact, I can even have multiple things up here. Think about that for a second. In fact, what I can do with these is I can start queuing up different things that I want to have in my lessons or in my meeting and be able to share those and have those wherever I needed those inside of the software. In fact, I can even have things like a YouTube clip or some of the media. So if I wanted to bring in something like a YouTube clip, it's very easy to do just simply click on the YouTube clip that I want and I place that wherever I need that and of course that will play and I can also take that full screen you know what's neat you actually notice some things that are missing from this this is something that has been really really important for all of ClearTouch and what we've been doing with ours you notice that you're actually missing some of the things that sort of take away from your lessons or from your meetings. You're missing things like those suggested videos or the comments or all the ads. What's nice is that these videos just stop. They start and they stop when you want them to. And so it doesn't have all the ads on the front end or the back end. And it also doesn't play all of the extra things or all the suggested things that we really wanted here. What's also nice too is that you can have multiple things up here as well and so I can just queue those up and have them wherever I want. Now what you're noticing here too is that that's upside down for me. I can take these and put these any way that I want to. So if I had other people up here as well, I could send that over to them. If I wanted to send it over here, I can do that as well. We have an infinite canvas as well. So look at that. 
gives so much space on here. In fact, I can even put that off the screen if I want to, and I can bring it back as well, and we can pinch to zoom to get any of these things that we want, or we can just simply click on the one that we want and take that full screen. This makes this thing so easy to use right out of the box. What's also nice here too is that while we're in one single zone, and this is great for my lessons or for my meeting notes and other things, I can also take this into two separate zones. And there's a couple of reasons that this will be important. And it's not just for other people to interact only, because like, watch this, I can go in and I can organize things. I might say I really want to have this as two separate zones. And take a look here on the screen. What you're seeing is that we were in one single zone here, but I can split this up into two zones, four zones, tabletop mode, or I can even have any configuration in between. Whatever suits you for your lesson or for your meeting, it's got a configuration here. So if I said, oh, let's go a side by side, look at that. All of my notes are still here, but now I've got all of these other applications and lessons and things that are ready to use right here. So if I wanted something like my browser on this side, while I also had all of my notes on this side, makes that really easy to do, and it'll just put those side by side. And what's neat here is that they operate completely independent of one another. And I'll see if I can demonstrate that here. So while I'm scrolling there, I can still be writing over here. So with this, we can also go in and we can have multiple zones where we can have multiple people up here at the same time. So I'm going to see if I can get my buddy Sean over here to join me. All right. So in this case, both of these are upside down for Sean and me. And so what we can do is we can go in and we can rotate these windows. We can make this to where that now makes sense for us. Did you see how that went? So in this case, Sean can be over there working on this while I'm over here taking notes. Do you see how this just became a center? Think about that. You've got all the students around in different areas and they're all working on different things at the same time. And what's nice here too is that if I wanted to share something or swap a zone, it's very easy to do. So what I'll do here, Sean, is I'm going to send this one over to you. So I'll just swap my zone and I'll send that over to you. And so now we just swap zones. Did you see that? We didn't actually have to switch locations at the table. Instead, what we did is we just digitally swapped those zones back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that one back over to me. And so now I've got this zone right back here ready to go where this really takes off. It's not just the side by side, but now we start inviting even more people up here. We can go in here and I can set up multiple zones. So we'll set this up like it's a table. And so now you notice we still got those same zones that we already had, but now we've also got even more things available. Think about that for a second. If you've got a lesson and you want to run that content, and you want that to be differentiated instruction, you can put a different type of lesson or a different delivery type on every single zone and have the students either swap those zones or move around in between them. Or if you're working with this at work, you can also have multiple whiteboards going at the same time and be able to share pictures and videos and that whiteboarding content back and forth. It's incredible. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back to a single zone. I want to show you what some of the lessons look like from Lessons Online. The nice thing about Lessons Online is that it's got over 100,000 lessons already in there, and they're already aligned to standards. So I'm going to show you how we can search some of those. So let's go back to a single zone for just a moment. So I'll choose the zones, choose a single zone. And what you're noticing, you're going, hey, Wes, that's upside down for me, <laughs> right? As you're watching this, all I have to do is I'll just rotate that back here for you. And let's go back to that home screen for just a moment. With this here, we can go over to Lessons. So Lessons is one of the apps that's there. And Lessons just basically has a gateway to Lessons Online. And I can see that inside of Snowflake. Or I can also get to it from a browser. Nice thing, and I have a lot of people that ask me, they say, hey, West, how do I create lessons? Should I always create those at the panel or something else? I say, no, it's not a big deal. All you have to do is open up a browser, and you're able to go in and create your own lessons wherever you are on whatever device you have. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sign in. You just sync that with your account, and it just brings in all of your lessons. How neat is that? You can also join different communities as well as have different lists so that you can actually work with other teachers at your school, in your district, and also within your community. Think about that with all the different trade shows and other things that you go to. Sometimes you meet different people that make incredible lessons. What a great way to be able to share those. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at how some of these lessons look. And I'm, so we can go and get some of our favorite lessons here. I'm going to choose our spinner here. And so this gives me some of the students that are in my class. And I just spin that to be able to choose who's going to come up here and start working with me. So in this case, Tim's going to come up and start working with us. What's also nice here too is that I can go in and I can set these up. Remember, we've got our different zones. So if I want to set up multiple zones here, now I've got my spinner over here and I can still go in and I can choose additional lessons. So I might choose something as well like, oh, let's do the multiply by here. Let's see. So in this case, Sean's able to come over here and he can start working on the multiplication while we choose the spinner over here. So if I wanted to add in additional things as well, I can still go back to zones. And we can even go in and we can choose custom configurations. So if I wanted that spinner to just be part of this, I can have that here, can also have this here. And you probably all remember, we can go in and we can swap zones as necessary here. So I really like this type of configuration here because one of the things we can do is go in and get something like our canvas whiteboard here and be able to take notes as well as do activities and even have classroom management things all at the same time. So you see some of the different features that are ready to go. Thank you so much, Sean. All right, so you're probably thinking, there's no way in the world I could possibly afford this. You'd be surprised. The new 7000 series is very affordable. It's something that you could not only get for your classroom or your boardroom or your huddle spaces, but you've got a couple different sizes to choose from, that 55 or the 65 right now. What I'm working on, what I've been working on this whole time is actually a 55. And so you're seeing how big this is as well. And so just pray, let's just take this right back out. So with this, all you want to do is reach back out to your Touchboard contact. You do that at touchboards.com and also reach them by phone. You know what's nice is we've been working this whole time on this PCAP table with our 7000 series and I've, I've just failed to mention to you, I mean, not only is it very, very easy to clean this, just using a chamois right here uh, to clean this up, but remember I mentioned earlier, it, it doesn't pick up other objects and things. And so I just kind of want to show you that not only is it not picking up the touch from this chamois, right? So we used to have that problem with some of the infrared products where you would just go and you do this and be launching every single thing on the entire panel. In this case, I can just clean this with ease without having to worry about are all of my other applications going to open. The other thing too is that it doesn't really matter about those inanimate objects and things that I set up there. They're not showing up as touch. Only things like the pins that go with this as well as my finger are going to be able to show up as touch points on the panel. So it makes it perfect for table mode. It makes it really easy for you to use in your classroom or in the office.